Well, uh, we are going for 5-5 this time. And if you have seen the 5-4 guide, you will notice that there are some new enemies that drop bombs and all that. Okay. And actually in this one we have an even more dangerous version of that enemy. The bomb tail G. Um, it impresses, okay? It can one shot uh, some of your units or your wall defense and it's awful. <laughs> but there is a way to deal with them. And uh, it's what I'm going to show you and this is why I do this guide. First of all, uh, the map impress like always. Uh, at first sight it seems like we have to defend many, sp many spots, many places and it's not quite like that. Because uh, this area here, uh, it will never be assaulted by enemy if we place defense here. We can actually have some defender operators or guards over these two spots. What is um, then what we have to focus in this map? First, there are going to be drones, so we will have to ga have snipers anywhere, whatever you want. But I recommend that the snipers cover this area. Because we have to nuke a lot of enemies here, there are going to be many enemies going around here and then some of them are quite dangerous. So I recommend having at least the uh, snipers or somewhere else, uh, even some AOE caster, whatever, I recommend having them here. Even Manticore for slowing them down, something. And, and some of the bombs are going to appear here and here. So why I recommend this different strategy, I'm a big lover of burning them before they arrive. I love to kill the enemy before they reach, but it's not going to work so well here because we are going to need DPS here. We need to focus this area. We can actually lose the, by having the snipers focusing this or, or this, and it's not going to work. So that is why uh, we are going to have a new MVP in the team. It's Gravel. <laughs> this poor girl. I, I even have her level 20 yet. Um, well, I'm sure you also have Gravel. Everyone has Gravel. And she's going to be an MVP here. I will teach you why, but she's basically <laughs> going to die for us, pretty much. <laughs> so there we go. Super. Like always, backwards first. Okay. Well, you have noticed that we have one of the bombs here. We don't want that bomb to reach here. So what we're going to do is sacrifice gravel. Bye bye. <laughs> one bomb less in the world. <laughs> You want to have someone like Amiya around here. I'm 
it here. <laughs> Very naughty. <laughs> We will actually have to replace Texas. Oh, so cool. But he's going for the heroes. You know, we have another bomb. We'll take a moment for it. Please die, Gravel. Ouch. <laughs> Actually, I'm not going to remove Siege, um, I recommend you to have the Vanguard as well, because we are over the limit, and we will going to need at least one limit for using Graver later, and we can replace with another proper one. Once they drop the bomb, they can attack. And this is one of the reasons I say we need DPS in this area if we don't want the enemies to leap over here. So it's actually good to start attacking them or repeating everything. And actually, here is the second bomb. And it seems that we have a problem here. <laughs> I didn't use gravel fast enough, so they have to be killed. Please, someone to take the damage. Because we are with one here less, but the battle is pretty much over. Bye bye Texas. <laughs> okay. But that's basically how to deal with these big fuckers. You have to use someone to sacrifice so you can actually heal them. Speed up. And once they are done they are going to do this route, so don't worry about killing them fast. And that's the strategy so far for 5 and 5. And I think you will have to take in mind Gravel for <laughs> for the future, basically because she can be redeployed quite fast and she has a really really low cost for it. So she's like the perfect unit for <laughs> baiting uh, the enemy attack. So. If you want to cheese uh, 5 and 5, you don't want to try some special strategy to kill those things fast. Just place Gravel, bait the enemy attack, and it's done. 